Yahoo! Prof here, and today we've got something that many of you likely have no idea about, and it's something that has taken seven years, almost to the day, to come to market. Back, uh, I believe it was April 2nd of 20... 14, I want to say. That, that makes sense, yep. April 2nd of 2014, that pause was a long there. I didn't remember what I just looked up in my email. Um, Unicomp had sent out an email that they were starting a new project. Um, the IBM SSK is a coveted keyboard, even among keyboard enthusiasts. And uh, though Unicomp has made full-size style uh, Model M's uh, for a long time, based on the original molds, and they have the patents and all that sort of stuff. They did not make a Tenculus. And that, if many of you have ordered from Unicom before, right there is what is in here. 4-9 of 2021. And that email went out 4-2 of 2014. That is how long it has been since. And that was them announcing this project project um we were actually questionable because it was 4-2 like was that april fools really wish they wouldn't have done that uh, but it actually wasn't they confirmed that that was something they were actually working on i uh had actually forgotten about it for many many years and thought like oh whatever happened that and uh turns out it has finally happened uh, I think there have been a couple people getting theirs before me, but I pre-ordered mine as soon as I could. And as you can see, it was only manufactured, uh, like, days. Little days ago. This is currently the 14th. So less than a week ago, this was manufactured. According to that there sticker. And here we are. Classic Unicomp box. The two end cardboard suspending it. Pop these guys off. They're a little bit different than the older ones I remember. From uh, Evan and Dura Pro. Right there. Running for those of you. And Endura Pro is a full size. Uh, but then it's got a little uh, track point. Right there. And I thought this would be super handy for setting up PCs. And it kind of is. And it kind of isn't. Because this track point is an analog style. So compared to what you find on even something like my semi-modern T420 I had. Yeah, we're like on the 490 now. Um, that feels clunky. But uh, it does give you a, a mouse for setting up computers. So, and then here we have the board itself. I have a very standard model. Uh, you can get one that's the industrial style with all dark gray keys. Um, I actually like the look of this guy. You know, little slicey dude. Use the, uh, the uh, hearing blade project. I actually preferred the look of this one, which is the more classic, um, well, a normal one would be a, like a tan and a dark brown. This is a white and a gray, but it's still more of the classic vibe. And this is not an exact copy of the SSK. They kind of took their take with a slightly updated design on that. But it is, it is, oh, listen to that. And it does have the integrated number from 789 down. That's a classic thing. You can see that on uh, semi-newish ThinkPads. A lot of them have ditched that. Um, so like a lot of you that say, oh, I can't not have a number pad. You, you don't not have a number pad. Oh, you do. You do have a number pad. So they thought about that all those years ago. We have Windows keys. These are die sub keycaps. Listen to that. 
See, I prefer the look personally. It just gives it the classic vibe to me of having that uh, black or the white and gray keycaps. You can get it all with dark gray. Um, but I was, I just wasn't, just wasn't vibing with that. Uh, mono price A to A cable. I may have a custom one made at some point for this. On the back we have a just straight USB A. So the only more durable. I mean, that's those are these are pretty dang durable. Generally, you wouldn't use an A on an output. I have some US early USB 3.0 drives before the micro B 3.0 was standardized that have an A 3.0 port on them as well. They're super sturdy. The B style are because they're not so flat, a little bit more sturdy in my opinion. But um, both the types try to stay out. Oh, and it goes, here's, we got the standard, the classic modifiers, um, 1.25, 1, 1.25. Then on the right side, it's a bit wonky. Um, you have the 1, 1, 1.25, 1, but then we do have an alt on the right. Normally, when you have this style, you would have a 7x spacebar, uh, meaning 7 keys wide, and instead of a 6.25, because they would ditch this alt. Um... That alt looks a little bit gr green, too. I don't know if that's purposeful, because, like, sometimes they'll make the alt gur, like the, uh, for your Germanic layouts and stuff like that, um, green or a different color, and then they'll put that as, like, a, a secondary. Like, if you see here, the number pad is blue. So, that if you smack your num lock here, um... Forget how you get there. If that's scroll lock, there must be like a function and then number lock. Um, but uh, yeah, so that, that's odd that they're both green color for the printing on alt. Maybe that's just what they do because it's easier. Um, but I cannot wait to get this guy plugged on in. It is beefy. It's got a good, nice curve to it. You can have feet to prop it up more if you want. My recommendation is skip that because um, it already has a pretty good angle to it with its naturally curved. Uh, the the keycaps are all flat, from what I recall. Or they're all the same angle, I should say. But uh, yeah, the PCB is dished on these. Which makes, which makes them rather unique and kind of hard to do, which is some of the stuff apparently they had to overcome when doing this. Because um, they did want to redesign it and update it, whereas a lot of their other ones, like that Enduro Pro is just a modified, newer, like, um, who took over? Not Lenox. Uh, Lexmark took over production of Model M's. That's, I believe, just a modified form from them from the time um, for the Enduro Pro. This is uh, quite a bit more advanced and updated. Uh, what are you going to call that? Um, like LEDs for no mod caps, and scroll lock, etc. There. And it's just saying with buckling springs, you can get keys that dislodged in shipment and you'll get double striking or not striking you just gotta pop it off check the spring with thing and uh, pop it back on a lot of times so I am super pumped let me know what you guys think. This has the exact vibes of the classic one, just with an updated color scheme. There you go. 4, 8 of 21. Made in the USA. Unicomp Model M. I believe these are considered the Model M Mini, for those wondering. 
And uh, I'm gonna have to rearrange my desk a bit to get this plugged in. I'm so used to my happy hacking keyboard though, but I think we gotta rock this for a bit. You know what I mean? Um, heck yeah. Let me know down below in the comments, guys, what you think. Let me know if there's anything specific you want to see me do with this guy here. I do have a 60% style Model F on the way. That has been delayed many, many years, which kind of hurts for the cost. Um, I mean, hey, I waited like seven for this, but um, I didn't really have money, especially multiple times this, into it, waiting for it. Um, so hopefully my Model F will be here at some point, and that may displace the Happy Hacking keyboard at home. Um, it has a chance to, at least. Uh, since it's that same 60%, I'm just super used to that. Personally, and it has the layout I like. Um, but this, oof, I've been following this for a long time. Had to pick it up. Let me know if you guys want to see anything else about it. Um, specifically, I can compare it against the Endura Pro. I know some people that have original Model M's. I don't know in person if I have like a, a easy access to somebody who owns an SSK to compare. But uh, this this is giving me all the right vibes. I'll let you on some. Type in vibes. You guys have a good one. Hit subscribe if you like this and uh, the notify bell if you want to see some more of this coming up soon. Um, we do cover keyboards, just not as much as I used to. Uh, maybe this will bring some of that back to the channel. Have a good one. See you next time.